it would be remiss of me in the current environment not to ask the question uh, from the member of, of from member from Leicestershire who who says given that Red Tractor's controversial attempt to I'm using his language here, so so please don't <laughs> put, pull me up on the uh, on, on the expression how I'm expressing this. But given Red Tractor's controversial attempts to steal farmers' environmental data, with their rushed attempt to foist the green farming commitment, the green farm commitment on farms, how can farmers best protect themselves from losing control of their environmental data and ensure that the value of that data returns a financial benefit to farmers? Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. Pretty much everybody on the call will will have been aware that over the course of the last week, Red Tractor have come up with a green farm commitment, uh, which is not dissimilar to their sort of audit approach to green farm. And the real concern here is that we are giving away our value of green environmental goods for nothing, in the same way that we don't appear to get much of a premium for being Red Tractor assured on pretty much everything else that we do. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, George, Helen, you probably both want to have a little bit of a comment on that. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll kick in first if that's all right, and then maybe Helen might have something to say. I, I mean, I think the real concerning aspect of what we've seen over the past couple of weeks was the fact that this was announced to the world by the British Retail Consortium, not by Red Tractor, not by the farming organisation. So, you know, BRC said that they were working with Red Tractor to develop this, this um, green farm commitment. And you can tell exactly why that was going on, because they want farmers to produce green credits that they can buy for their own purposes and for their own value. And, you know, it wasn't until a few days later that Red Tractor said, oh, yes, we've been working with the BRC for a while on, on, on this. And our members and other farmers are rightly concerned about that because not not because they are anti-environment or anti-green or not interested in creating a, a you know a nature-rich environment, but because as you as you say, Mark, they are spending their money, they are spending their time, they are spending their resource, they are taking the risk, they are putting their back into producing this stuff, and they rightly deserve. A reward for what they are providing so as, as much as they get paid for every ton of wheat or every beef animal that goes to the market or every liter of milk that goes to the the processor they should be paid for every bit of the environmental benefit that they're they are providing and no one has the right to take that away from individuals who have who have toiled to produce those benefits and there is a there is a huge concern but the way in which the greener farm commitment is going about this, that, that farmers will not be adequately rewarded. Now, I know there's been some talk about early adopters hopefully getting something in return for signing up to the commitment, but none of that's guaranteed. And Red Tractor haven't delivered a jot of value back to the farmer, as far as we can see in, in, in the scheme that they've they've currently got. So um, we, we called in 2021, uh, the TFA called in 2021 for both a review of governance within Red Tractor and a review of the extent to which it was providing value to the primary producers who were having to jump through the hoop. So it's all well and good that 15 billion pounds of produce has got the Red Tractor logo on it, but how much of that is coming back to the to the farmer, to the primary producer, to the grower? And it's it's good to see that this week the NFU has agreed with us that we need a dual review of the Red Tractor process. And the greener farm commitment, I think, is the straw which has broken everybody's back on on the issues that we've been talking about for the past two years. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a really serious issue. One we need to get resolved and uh, and, and ensure that that our members and other farmers and growers are getting the value that they rightly deserve. 